uh, welcome to the welcome to the 624th meeting of the speech weavers toastmasters club bangalore i'd like to start with the mission of a toastmasters club to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth for every toastmasters meeting there are a few guidelines that we follow i'd like to request everyone to please mute their phones and any other things that would come our way please mute your mic if you are a non speaker and please remember to unmute yourself when you're coming to speak to all of us i'd like to request all our speakers to refrain from talking about sex religion and politics to avoid hurting the sentiments of our audience requesting everyone to turn on our videos to keep our speakers motivated uh welcoming all our guests who've joined today to mention your names and clubs in the chat window and if you are a non toastmaster you may just mention that you are a guest we are really happy to have you here today and do not forget to have fun and be a part of our meeting today um i always like sharing a thought for the day so today i'll just share a question what is the first thing that you do when you get up in the morning or the first few things that you do the thing that you do first when you start your day can really make a difference so for me once i freshen up i change i go take a big glass of warm water i go outdoors and if i have time before work i walk for an hour others i at least make sure i spend 15 minutes in the sun so i get my dose of hot water i'm hydrated i'm ready to start my day and i get my vitamin d after that i take a, one or two leaves of tulsi and just munch on it So are you one of those people who are on your phone when you start your day and mindlessly scrolling think about if whether it's a habit you want to change think about how much the first thing you do in the morning can impact your day or your life in general next i'd like to introduce a special person this person we call her the triple vp she is a globe trotter she goes around meetings attending meetings all over the world and bringing in all the interesting things like we get drama we have debate we had recently she spearheaded a wonderful olympics a table topic olympics she is an area table topic champion also the grammar queen of speech weavers a good friend and our past president i'd like to invite our presiding officer for today toastmaster deepa over to you thank you toastmaster vandana and it's i'm back in the presiding officer's address feels like a little alien to me but since mayur is not here i'm going to be uh, addressing you all and welcoming especially all our guests who have joined us ram from the uk preetam veera who all made sure that you're going to add the much needed flavor and spice for our meetings thank you for being with us today is our 623rd meeting and we have something really interesting in store you know every toastmasters meeting is a place where we learn not just to speak well not just to hear about what we can do better but we understand so many things for example today we're going to hear about the hidden doctors in our kitchen and we're going to listen to three different speeches perspectives from different people and all of these mold us as people as individuals every conversation every book that we read every opinion that we listen to shapes us and toastmasters is a wonderful platform because it brings together a diverse people together in one platform with one intention in mind to get better if you notice in toastmasters everybody here are with a mindset of getting better that's what unites us and i welcome you all again and let's have a fun session ahead now firstly in our toastmasters meeting in speech weavers we have something called the joke master comes in front of us and amuses us with some stand up comedy perhaps or some bunch of jokes in acting so today we have with us a young guy who heads his own fintech company he is 
originally from Chennai, but now calls Bangalore his home. He's very good at humor. In fact, I call him Mr. Chandler because he executed a voiceover segment recently with Panash. Please welcome on your screens the joke master for today, Adarsh Krishna. Adarsh Krishna, go ahead and amuse us with your jokes. Good evening to all Toastmasters and guests. I'm Adarsh Krishna and I'm your joke master for today. And I'm going to be taking a page out of our joke master from last week who was none other than our own Deepa Sampath Kumar. She played the role of a joke master last week and she did something very interesting. She exposed all the funny things that we've been doing since the day Toastmasters went online. And it includes pretending like our microphones aren't working, although they clearly are, or wearing boxer shorts to a Toastmasters meeting, something that all of you do, I'm sure about that. Now, don't worry Toastmasters, because I'm not here to expose you, but instead I'm here to expose myself for all the funny things that I've been doing. Starting off, I'd like to ask you, how brilliant has your day been? Because in my case, my day has been absolutely sensational. I've been doing a lot of fun things all day and now I'm sat in my room and my room looks so tidy. There's a picture hanging in the background. All the wardrobes in my room are properly shut. My room looks so clean, or is it? Fellow Toastmasters, there was never a time in the last six months where my room was actually clean. And I'm not showing you the other side of the room yet. And if I showed that to you, I'm pretty confident each of you wouldn't find that interesting at all. And don't look at me like as if your rooms aren't clean, your, your rooms are clean because I'm very confident that they aren't either. Moving on to confession number two. And I have the habit of giving myself a pep talk before every speech or role, and it goes something like this. All right, Adarsh, you'll be playing the role of a joke master today. Don't embarrass yourself like, 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 the, like the way you did the last time around, because the last time you embarrassed yourself, you gave an, you gave an, you gave a, you gave an entire script for the next joke master to make fun of you. So today, go out there and show that your life is not a joke. Your life is not a joke. Forget about the time when you pretended like your microphone didn't work, although it clearly did. Forget about the time when you spoke for an entire minute or their microphone is off. Now go out there and show them that your life is after all a joke. Moving on to confession number three. And I think a lot of you can relate with me on this. And I have the habit of giving myself a pep talk after every speech or table topic or any role for instance, and it goes something like this. All right, Adarsh, I'm really glad that the speech is finally over and it feels absolutely incredible right now, but I cannot forgive you for one thing and that is you spent an entire night yesterday researching quotes about Charles Dickens, Charles Darwin and some of the greatest people ever and all you could come up with was one quote that your brother mentioned that too when he was almost asleep. What was all the research for? You wasted an entire night. Are you serious, man? And I'm sure that all of you have been there as well. Moving on to confession number four, and I'm going to need the assistance of our Zoom master, Toastmaster Nilu, to highlight someone that I believe is absolutely incredible. She has all the makings of an orator. She is extremely good at what she does, and she's known to some of them here as the immediate past president or today's presiding officer. But to me, she'll always be the boxer shorts exposing genius that is Toastmaster Deepa Sampath Kumar. Hello, Deepa. So I'd like to ask you one question right now, and that is how professional do I look on a scale of zero to 10? Because let me remind you that I'm wearing a suit today and I look absolutely incredible. This is the coolest I've looked in months, I'm sure about that. So I'd like you to rate me on a scale of zero to 10. I want you to tell me how professional I look. Unmute yourself and go ahead. Now it's a nine, but I don't know if you stand up how I would rate you. That's absolutely incredible, Deepa, because that's what I'm about to get at. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to expose the single biggest lie of the online Toastmasters era that is pretending like you're wearing a pair of pants, although you're wearing a pair of boxers. And I'm sure each of you in this room can relate with me on this, although I'm not going to call you out. 
With that in mind, I would like to hand the session back to our presiding officer. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Adarsh, and bringing, being vulnerable and showing all the eccentric things that we do as individuals. Thanks for bringing, I mean, it was not just you, it was all of us. You were speaking for all of us. Good jokes, good confessions. I'm sure everybody will raise a hand. Yes, my room is untidy. In fact, a lot of things are scattered right next to me. And the pep talks, great job done, Adarsh. Great job done. A big round of applause to our joke master, Adarsh. And now it's time for me to introduce a woman who is a very ambitious person. She believes in perfection. I mean, whenever I've spoken to her, she is so intent on getting better at whatever she does. She, she is passionate about um, yoga. She, in fact, did a course on facial yoga recently. And I said, we're going to have a session on that as well in the future. And she also has her YouTube channel where she does beautifully curated recipes on healthy living. You must watch her channel. It's Sushma's Kitchen Show. And she's an excellent cook, presentation. She's been learning a lot of video editing skills. And in fact, she's volunteered to edit our newest uh, event, special event that we had. She's a wonderful person all in all, who's always trying to pitch in. And now she is our sergeant at arms, doing a very good job at it. Please welcome on your screen to stitch together this whole meeting to gather to us what is coming ahead of us. And she's going to be the main person of today's show, Toastmaster Sushma. With a big round of applause, Toastmaster Sushma. Thank you, Deepa, for such a wonderful introduction. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guest. Nature has blessed humankind with many wonderful things. One of the wonder being herbs and spices. Few of them are usually we find in every household kitchen. I remember during my childhood, whenever I was down with cold, cough or fever, instead of rushing to doctor, my mother, she would prepare decoction made of ginger, pepper, coriander seeds, turmeric, and cinnamon. In a way, actually, these spices were doctors, which helped me cure my sickness. I would like to throw light on benefits of few herbs and spices. Cinnamon. Yes, this is one of the healthier spice on the planet, which has numerous health benefits. Due to time constraint, I might not focus on all the benefits, but I would be limiting to one or two. This helps in reducing blood sugar levels and cholesterol. Not only this, it helps in reducing triglycerides and joint pains. How we can incorporate this spice in our diet is while cooking the rice, we can put small piece of that, which helps in insulin sensitivity. Another way is one hour after the lunch, you can take a cup of cinnamon drink, which doesn't spike your blood sugar levels. Another spice, pepper. This is known as king of spice, which is commonly used worldwide. This is very useful in many ways, like we are using in uh, rasam and may even in pongal also, there is a reason behind that. Pepper helps in digestion. That is the reason when it is combined with, when we make pongal, lentils, it helps in proper digestion. That is the reason for children, for the good digestion, they add pepper powder in ghee and it is fed to children. Not only this, it greatly helps in increasing metabolic rate. Those who are through who are going through weight loss journey, they can incorporate pepper in their diet. Another one, very efficient one, 
ginger yes there is a bioactive compound called gingerol which is responsible for its medicinal properties it aids in good digestion and improves blood circulation good digestion means best and efficient way of absorbing nutrients from the body what we eat from the diet very good absorption not only that this is an amazing anti inflammatory during the winter season one or two cups of ginger tea but not without the milk it would be helpful the efficacy of the ginger property goes high when you don't add milk if you want the benefits from the ginger because when you add milk sometimes it increases the inflammation and congestion another important spice is garlic yes garlic has 34 sulfur compounds which supports cardiovascular diseases which greatly helps in blood pressure and if anyone is suffering from triglycerides it greatly helps when you take one pod of garlic on empty stomach and when it comes to turmeric it is used worldwide what a wonderful and amazing spice it is it has called the bioactive compound curcumin which is responsible for the property of medicine whatever properties are there in turmeric but it is always it has to be combined with pepper so what happens pepper may increase the absorption rate of uh, curcumin in turmeric by 2000 per percent isn't it interesting so that's why if you want to combine like if you want to use turmeric always it has to be combination with pepper so the efficacy of that goes very high when it comes to we are in a world where we undergo through stress we are in a competitive world there are few herbs which induces good sleep and suppresses the hormones stress hormones very simple thing which is available in our kitchen coriander herb coriander when you take decoction or the raw juice one hour before going to bed it suppresses the hormones and gives good sleep good sleep means optimal health this is one of the i don't know whether you are able to see or not these are chamomile herb though it is not available usually in our kitchen but we can grow in our kitchen garden i have experienced myself it um, does wonders when we take decoction of chamomile tea you sleep like a baby i take whenever i'm stressful and uh, i have a difficulty to go to sleep i take at least weekly twice or thrice and another uh, one recently i have experienced cumin yes i would say that trust me it works wonders it helps in digestion and helps in reducing the belly fat but when you take high doses or if you want to incorporate for the belly reduction purpose we have to incorporate high doses of uh, cumin supplements but otherwise we can take 2 uh, to 3 cups of uh, cumin drink which helps in reducing the belly fat so these are the herbs i would say on the note i would say by incorporating healthy practices which are easily available in our kitchen we can incorporate through our diet for the optimal health and these works wonders can work as doctors for the small small remedial purpose definitely definitely we can incorporate spices these spices and moving on to core topic for the benefit of the audience toast masters why we need to know about toast masters and why you have to join toast masters about toast masters toast masters is a non profit educational organization 
which is operated in which is operated in uh, different countries 16200 clubs we have was founded by rao c smedley at october 22nd 1924 at ymca santa ana california united states for the purpose of promoting public speaking communication and leadership skills the entire meeting has three segments prepared speeches wherein members are prepared in advance to deliver their speeches based on the pathways selected the second segment table topics session it is an impromptu speaking very interesting segment guests watch out for this segment even you can participate this this segment is conducted by our table topics master evaluation evaluation this is another important segment it is headed by general evaluator comprises reports by individual evaluators timer accounter grammarian and listener now it's time for me to introduce our general evaluator for the day is toastmaster subadeep toastmaster subadeep if is a bengali heart bengali by heart and soul have been a toastmaster for close to 5 years achieved acg ldrx multiple triple crown awards by profession associate director in an it organization he enjoys speaking playing guitar singing and photography may i call upon our general evaluator toastmaster subadi thank you toastmaster thank you toastmaster sushma for that warm introduction in coming to the theme that we have planned for today it's really interesting i must i must say doctors in your kitchen and well if i think closely the first person which comes to my mind or in my vision is my grandparent who knew the best way to provide a relief of to an aggravating pain or to get through the cold and shivery nights using the home made ginger recipe and i believe many of us can actually relate to what i just said also during my current weight loss regime i'm consuming boiled chicken with coriander leaves like our, our general value to mention and black pepper trust me it's an optimum solution for high protein source coming to the context of the meeting and the role of the general evaluator first of all my task over here is to ensure that the meeting is conducted in a decent and well fashioned way according to the toastmaster guideline and i will not be able to do the task alone i would be needing a team coming to the role of the general evaluator and the team that i have i have three people one the person who would be helping us with maintaining the time second the person who is who is going to help us to attenuate the usage of as ums or the filler words and finally the grammarian who is going to help us introduce good vocabulary into speeches into every time that we are trying to say something now coming to the first role player that we have that is a timer toastmaster pritham toastmaster pritham please go ahead and introduce yourself to the club good evening toastmasters and guests it's glad to be here i am uh, part of uh, stmct toastmasters club uh, i'll be the timer today so my responsibility is to time the table topic sessions prepared speeches and the individual evaluation sessions so the time allotted for table topic sessions is 1 minute uh, uh, minimum you have to speak for 1 minute and the maximum time is 2 minute so at the uh, 30 seconds grace time would be given to conclude the topic after i so at 1 minute i'll flash a green card 
and after one and a half minute i'll flash a yellow card and then after at the end of two minutes i'll flash a red card so for prepared speeches the time allotted is 5 to 7 minutes at 5 minutes i'll flash a green card and after 6 minutes i'll flash a yellow card and after 7 minutes i'll flash a red card so the time allotted for uh, evaluation sessions is around 2 to 3 minutes so at 2 2 minutes i'll flash again a green card 2 and a half minutes i'll flash a yellow card and uh, after 3 minutes i'll flash a green card uh, red card so i'll uh, uh, i'll give a thorough report at the end of the meeting when general evaluator calls upon me back to you general evaluator thank you you're on mute shubham so it's sort of like all right the next role play that we have or i have in my team is the accounter and that is toastmaster deepa so toastmaster deepa can you please go ahead and introduce your role thank you general evaluator shubhadeep now our speeches are like highways if the highway is smooth our speech is excellent if the highway has puddles potholes humps those are those our counts that i'm talking about you say ah uh, um mm mm -mm. but so obviously okay okay these are those crutch words ah uh, and ums that make a speech lose its sheen and so it's always it also indicates that you're somewhere unsure about what you're speaking about so it's always advised that we reduce our ahs and ums So I'll be tracking all of your ahs and ums. How many times you use ah, uh, um, so, but, and all the crutch words that are existing in the world, and I also try to figure out what is your favorite crutch word. Now, there's one. I don't want to just tell the problem, but I want to tell you a solution. How if you have a problem with ahs and ums, just try to pause, be conscious of it, and just try to pause when you're about to say um or ah. Uh. and just that one single exercise is going to reduce your counts so with that i would hand over this segment back to our general evaluator and we'll be back with a report at the end of the meeting thank you those sponsors we there the next role player that i have as part of my team is the grammarian and that is toastmaster or rather dtm millen dtm millen please uh, introduce yourself uh, to the club and your role the art usage of grammar will attenuate the challenge of verbal and written communication whereas in appropriate usage of grammar will aggravate the challenge of verbal and written communication as a grammarian today i'll be cherry picking those words in phrases sentence which spiced your communication and i'll also highlight those areas where you could have done better the word of the day today is attenuate means to lessen to weaken the tall trees at the coastal coastal area of india attenuate the effect of cyclone on the spices used in right quantity attenuates the diseases which we have i will give my report as a grammarian as and when the general evaluator calls me over to the general evaluator those master shubhadeep thank you dtm milan and the final role play that we have is very interesting It's called the, the listener, and it's none other than Toastmaster Akash. So, Toastmaster Akash, please introduce your role to the entire club. Being a good listener is as important as being a good speaker. To make sure that you all listen carefully, I'll be noting some tidbits of information from each of the speakers today, and we'll come back at the end of the meeting. with those questions 
So I request you to keep the volume of your audio system up so that the speak the voice of the speaker doesn't get attenuated with the background most um, background noises you have at your place. Back to you, General Evaluator. Amazing. So that is all from my tag team. I would come back at the end of the meeting with the evaluations. And now I would like to pass on the podium back to the Toastmaster of the day with one quick saying that moving forward, let's try and adhere to the time. Let's try to attenuate what attenuate the number of hours, arms, and the filler words. And finally, let's also strengthen the usage of vocabulary and grammar. With that being said, over to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, General Evaluator. It's time for our formal speeches. We have three speakers lined up. Before I invite our first speaker, may I call upon Toastmaster Joseph, who will be evaluating first speaker speech to explain guidelines, purpose, and objective of the speech without mentioning speech title and speaker name. Uh, Over we'll to. Going, uh, we'll be going with this uh, second speaker first, speaker three, and then speaker one. So, first is speaker three. Two. Speaker two. Speaker two, Bidu. Before I invite second speaker, may I call upon evaluator Toastmaster Veera to explain guidelines, purpose, and objective of the speech without mentioning speech title and speaker name. Toastmaster Veera. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the Day, Toastmaster Sushma, and a very good evening to my fellow Toastmasters and guests. So the member will be attempting their research and presenting project from their pathway presentation mastery. And the member completing this project has spent time researching the particular topic, and they may be speaking about a new topic or a known topic. Uh, they'll be presenting a well-organized and a well-delivered speech. The speech may be humorous or informational or serious or any style that they want to adapt. And this project is not actually a report on the content of this particular uh, project explanation. And I'm really looking forward to, the, to hearing your speech. So all the very best. I'll be back with my detailed evaluation. Thank you, Veera, for explaining that objective of the speech. The second, second, our speaker today is Toastmaster Bidu, who is joining from Delhi. He is sports management professional looking at the corporate affairs in Baichung Butia football schools. He is a cinephilic marathon runner and enjoys going to trips with friends. Speaker would be presenting level one project two from presentation mastery. The speech title is Space Wars, not a Star Wars story. Space Wars, not a Star Wars story. Toastmaster B. Upper se Bharat kaisa dikta hai aapko? Ma'am, bagar kisi jijak ke kaya sakta hoon. Sare jahaan se achcha. Toastmasters, can you guess this iconic conversation? The first man, first Indian on space, uh, Sharma, I forgot. Rakhi Sharma. Rakhi Sharma. Yes, the guess is right. The iconic conversation happened on 4th of April 1984 between the Prime Minister Indra Gandhi and Rakesh Sharma, who was the first and the only Indian to travel to space. This is a watershed moment in India's space sojourn, which has by then included rockets, satellites, and satellite launching vehicles. The monumental speed can only be comprehended if we look back and unravel the origins of India's space mission. My name is Vidhu, and I'm going to take you to a brief chapter in India's space mission and how incidentally it intertwines with the space war during the decade of 1950s to 1980s. Around 1946, a space war had brewed 
between two superpowers, the US and the USSR. After being victorious in the Second World War in 1945, the two nations locked horns in the space race, be it space launching vehicles or manned missions. The reason attributed to such one upmanship was to showcase which nation had superior military, economic, and political might. It was also to prove whose ideology was better, US capitalism or USSR socialism. The race was so intense that unable to build their own rockets, they went to Nazi Germany to get their V2 rockets. While the US captured the engineer Fawn Brown, who had designed the V2 rocket and added him to their engineering team, Russia, on the other hand, captured most of the engineers who had built V2 rockets and held them captive till they could build one for Russia. While this race was happening far away, there was one nation with one fifth of the population of the world trying to take baby steps. On 15th August 1947, India had become independent. On one hand, there was clamor when Nehru gave the Triumph with Destiny speech. On the other hand, there was chaos prevailing over the concept of independent India. A country with a deluge of people was defined by poverty, hunger, religious divide, and illiteracy. Although India was a poor nation, but there was no dust of visionaries. Two scientists rose to fame at this point of time, 48-year-old Homi Bhabha and 38-year-old Vikram Sarabhai. Sarabhai completely turned the narrative when he said, India is poor and therefore it needs a space program. According to him, a space program would ensure communication, remote sensing, and last mile delivery of education, health, and guidance to farmers. After persuading the government for the whys of the mission, it was time to design hows of the mission. Coming back to the space war, which had run for a decade, in 1957, it was Russia who was first able to put an object in space. The first artificial satellite was called Sputnik. It was made by Russians, launched from Russia for the entire world to marvel at. While this episode made the US dejected, for the Indians, it was a seed of encouragement. After this event, the US kept no stones unturned and established NASA in 1958, and it invited applications for space exploration. Sensing this opportunity, Vikram Sarabhai approached NASA with a proposal. He asked for the sounding rockets to be made in India. His reasoning was the sounding rockets need to be launched from a magnetic equator, and India had one. Sarabhai had two objectives to achieve from this mission. Number one, he wanted to get the necessary expertise about building rockets, and two, expose Indian scientists to the operations of rocketry. After this experience, Indian scientists worked hard on their own indigenous rockets, and Rohini rocket was launched in India in 1963. The event ensured Indian space mission had officially begun. Amidst the euphoria of launching a rocket, the leaders now set their sights even higher to launch a satellite into orbit. But how could they possibly can? India had not yet launched a satellite launching vehicle. Again, the answer lies in the pages of Space Wars. Here's the story. After the Second World War, China was under the communist rule and the Soviet was led by Stalin. But after Stalin's death, the Soviet veered away from communism and accepted socialism. This made China feel betrayed and the Sino-Soviet war started to happen. This compounded the already existing space race and now there were three people competing in space, US, Russia, and China. After China was able to launch a satellite in space, Russia started a program whose aim was to facilitate any country who wants to launch a satellite. But there was one catch. The satellite has to be heavier than Chinese satellite. Mind you, China's satellite weighed 190 kilograms. After China defeated India in 1962 war, Russia approached India as a natural ally 
and convince him to start a joint program. Indian scientists by then had already developed Aryabhatta satellite, which weighed 360 kilograms, almost twice as that of Chinese satel uh, satellite. Thus, in 1975, India launched its first satellite with the help of Russian launch vehicles. With the launch of Rohini rocket in 1963, Aryabhatta satellite in 1975, the next step was to build a satellite launch vehicle, which India did under the able leadership of APJ Abdul Kalam. SLV-3 SLV was launched in 1980. Then came the big moment. Should India aim to put a man in space? It was an ideological shift since putting a man in space is fraught with risk and is highly expensive. Hence, the scientists clearly did not prioritize such missions. But this time, it was the turn of the government to ensure the Indians participated in such race. The space war had not yet accumulated till then. Having established a good relationship with USSR, India government wanted to partner with them in the inter-cosmos program designed to launch the manned flight in space. Rakesh Sharma, who was an Indian Air Force pilot by then, was chosen for this mission. And in 1984, Rakesh Sharma became the first Indian to travel to space in a Russian flight, Salute 7. Indian space program might have its origin weaved around the space wars of those times, but it was the sheer determination, vision, and the audacious capacity of all the scientists and the people who made India self reliant and to make the indigenous space adventures even possible. By now, India has also made attempts to go to moon and to Mars. But those chapters are for a later, to, later day. Thank you and over to you. Thank you, Bidu. What a wonderful speech through your speech. Give them a, give Toastmaster Bidu a big round of applause. It is very informative speech and through your speech, you really showed a picture how what efforts have gone through and how it would have happened. Really, a space war, it's not a space war, not a Star Wars story, space wars. Moving on to our next speaker. Before I invite our next speaker, may I call upon Toastmaster Srinu to explain guidelines, objective, and purpose of the speech. Very good evening, rising Toastmasters and brilliant guests. Today, my target speaker is attempting level three project one speech from effective coaching. The main purpose of this project is for the members to practice the skills needed to connect with an unfamiliar audience. Timer, please note the time is five to seven minutes. Over to you. Our speaker is Toastmaster Vineet, who is passionate digital strategist with around two decades experience. He has been a Toastmaster for eight years and played various roles from speaker to club monitor, mentor. He also works as success coach for his startup Unlimited Potential Insight. When I have asked Toastmaster Vineet his take on herbs and spices, this is his view. Just as spices bring different aromas and flavors to the food, he believes we need to spice up our life now and then with a bit of adventure and excitement. Toastmaster Vineet would be presenting his level three project one from effect to coaching. His speech title is, do you treat your dog better than you treat yourself? Do you treat your dog better than you treat yourself? Toastmaster Vineet. Do you know 30% of people who go to the doctor, they don't even take the prescriptions and worse 50% of them don't even take the medicine even if they have taken the prescription 
This is as per survey done by famous psychologist Jordan Peterson. My fellow Toastmasters, guests and Madam Toastmasters of the day. Isn't that unbelievable? 50% of people don't take the prescribed medicine. There are so many instances that happened during this COVID times when people were not agreeing to take medicines and vaccines and they landed up in ICU. Unfortunately, some of them even died. Let me give you other fact. Many of the same people bring their pets like dogs and cats to the vet and never even consider not following their advice. They'll buy all the medicines for their dogs and make sure that give it it on time. Isn't it a big contrast? Why in this world would anyway take better care of their dog than themselves? Isn't it pathetic? I recently was talking to one of my good friend Bini and he was precisely in this self-hate mindset. I was running a kid's personal growth club. His son Veer used to be a part of it. He loved Veer a lot. I could see because he was giving him anything that he wants. Time, toys, whatever he asks for. And I appreciated Veer when I called him and said, and what he says to me, he, hey, I love my son more than myself. He is the reason why I'm so happy. On top of it, otherwise my life would have been a hell. I was surprised. I was surprised to find a depressed man in my friend. I was surprised to hear since he was living a decent life. And during that discussion, I realized that since he couldn't make his relationship work with his wife, he started hating himself. I tried helping him and he comes back saying, Hey, Vinit, you not understand, friend. You have a loving family. So you love the dog. You love your child. Maybe even you love your spouse, but you don't love yourself. Why? One is that we are fragile and damageable to kind of imperfect in, in, in multiple dimensions. And that often gets worse with the age. And on top of it, yes, we are weak, useless and prone to temptation. Then why the hell should I and you take care of something as sorry as rest as we are? Now think about it. All right, we are pretty useless and terrible. You are pretty useless and terrible. You have gone through terrible times. But you know what? So is everyone else. It's a problem that every human being has always had and always will. It's not just you. It's a universal problem. We understand our faults completely better than any outside observer. And believe me, it's not even worth helping. We start thinking that no, not, no one can help me in this situation. So what can we do about this? First thing is, I'm sure you might have heard about this quote, hate the sin, but love the sinner. It's something like, even though you are not at all that you would like to be, the proper attitude to have towards yourself is the attitude that you would have towards someone that you genuinely cared for. It may be your dog, it may be your child, it may be your cat. You actually have a moral obligation to do that because you make the world worse place if you don't take care of yourself. The second thing. The second thing is that you need to believe that you're worth helping. If someone appreciates you, in Toastmasters we keep appreciating people. When someone tries to help you, take that help, take that appreciation. If you don't trust people around you, take some professional help, maybe a Toastmasters club, maybe a Toastmasters mentor or any other positive association that you can be part of. And the third reason is you have something valuable to bring in this world. As an individual, each one, you, each one of you have a light, a purpose that you have to bring into this world. And if you don't bring this into the world, the world is a dimmer place. It has already lost one precious purpose. So for the people who are facing this, 
I'll recommend write this down. Taking good care of yourself is not a selfish trait. It's not being egoistic. You are important to other people. Ask your mom, ask your close friend, ask your coach, ask your employer, which morally obliges you to treat yourself how you will treat someone you love. Think about the possibilities. If you do this, you could become more loving, more helpful, more productive, productive, which would enhance the lives of others and society in general. To conclude, hate the sin, but love the sinner. Apply this to yourself. We have applied this to others. Now let's time is to apply to ourselves. Believe that you are worth appreciating, worth helping. Make this world brighter with your light of purpose. So lastly, do you treat your dogs better than you treat yourself? Toastmasters of the day. Give a big round of applause to Toastmaster Vineet. Yes, Vineet, I completely agree with you. Many of us, because of um, stress or because of we are occupied with so many things, we ignore ourselves. This is the, we have to start loving ourselves and taking some time for ourselves, exploring for what purpose we have come here. We have reached to the most entertaining session of the day, which is table topic session. To conduct this session, may I call upon Toastmaster Nitin, who is our table topic master of the day. Please help me welcoming table topics master for the day, Toastmaster Nitin, with a big round of applause. Toastmaster Nitin. Uh, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, Toastmasters and guests. Table topics help members practice the art of improvisation and also helps us think on our feet. This helps us develop four vital communication skills, listening, thinking, organizing, and delivering. Be it an interview, a question at a meeting, you weren't expecting to be to answer. Table topics will help you attenuate the stress of thinking with the presence of the thought. The topics that I have prepared for you will hopefully help all of us become better at improvisation. As such, we Toastmasters try to provide a speaking opportunity to maximum of the audience and members. This session is not restricted only to members alone. Even the guests can participate. The topics, so please note that you are required to speak for a minimum of one minute and a maximum of two minutes. So to our timer of the day, that he will help you to the time and the background. It will turn green at one minute, yellow at one minute and 30 seconds, and when it's red, it means you reach maximum time. I request volunteers to grab it or else it will be sold out. So are there any volunteers or I may randomly call anyone. You can raise your hands. Yes, please. Yeah. Who is this? Yes. Veera. Veera, can you hear me? Yeah, Nathan, I can hear you. Yeah. Your question for the day is, if you get to know that you are the only person alive on the planet Earth all of a sudden, what is the first thing you think of and what will you do? And I will send the question in the chat box. Please check it out. Right. So, thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Nathan, for this interesting question. Uh, first of all, I would like to call myself an ambivert because at times I feel completely like an introvert. I just want to take a complete break out of the world and just stay alone and just fulfill my life to the fullest. And to be honest, I just need a huge cup of coffee and tons of books around me and probably a couple of video games. That would be more than enough for me. I would call my life an entire bliss. So if that happens, if I get to know that I am the uh, only person alive in the world, wow, what else do I need? I have every single thing. Like I can go ahead and eat anything from any restaurant that is available there and 
wow it is like a paradise for me i wouldn't actually blame that i don't have any of my friends or family with me to enjoy it along with myself but i don't feel selfish too because i am the only person in the planet i don't have to feel selfish so i am a big foodie so i get to enjoy anything and everything from any restaurant across the entire world and on top of that as i said i am a huge book lover i can get anything in any part of the world there and i get the whole world to myself to be literal so to answer your question i would enjoy it to the fullest and i'd be happy and peaceful i might get bored at one point but i believe as this question is hypothetical i can just call it a hypothetical situation and i'll just go at it that's it thank you so much thank you veera that was very interesting and very new to know listen so any other volunteers from the guests so yeah i see viba yeah viba can you hear me yeah yeah viba there is a question to you if you want to become someone or it may be anyone for one hour in your life who will it be and why is it yeah i am placing it the, placing the question in chat box yeah viba over to you yeah thank you uh, table topic master for giving me such a wonderful topic and uh, good evening to all the tab- uh, all the toast masters present here yeah my my topic is if i want to become someone for one hour who will it be and why yes if i become if i want to become someone hmm, it's really a difficult task but no problem if i want to become a, become someone for one hour i would prefer to become a queen of this world where i i can i could see that uh, many people are there they uh, they are following me they are they are listening me they are obeying me and they are doing whatever chores i i order them and this is still i am feeling that i am a queen and i am feeling like uh, i am on the moon uh, you can say that uh, a queen is a person who who can never uh, feel such type of uh, crisis or difficulties because they uh, she has many many helping hands and uh, also i would say that i would not be such type of queen who can uh, who can um, just order i would like to be involved in their in their in their not the work because uh, i will be the one so uh, involved in their discussions in their uh, some activities which can motivate them in doing uh, in making it better so and also i would like to add that uh, i would i would tell my subjects not to be uh, afraid of me they can and they can take me as a friend and whatever problems they have been facing or whatever problems uh, they uh, they get in on the way to their uh, success or uh, any reaching uh, any goal i will i would always be there for helping them but with any uh, means of uh, uh, support it can be economically it it can be uh, it can be psychologically and many in many ways so uh, being a queen means uh i will be i would be the um ruler and even i you have you must have heard that song uh, uh from lorde uh, queen b so i would prefer this over to you thank you to table topic master thank you vibha that was a very good deliver and hope you are a really good queen and not everyone will be in that way so the next will anyone want willing to volunteer or let me call yeah ram hey ram can you hear me yes i can 
Yes, the question for you is, if you are given an opportunity to have a supernatural power, anything it will be, what is that you want to choose and how will you use it? I'm putting it in the chat box. Isn't this a fantastic question? If there was a supernatural power that I could have, what would that power be? Let's go through some of those options, shall we? Number one, how about x-ray eyes, being able to see what's inside of people's pockets, yeah, what's inside the presents before you open them up. Wouldn't that be nice? But then that would probably ruin the surprise, wouldn't it? So x-ray would be good. Maybe if I'm a doctor, but I'm not a doctor. So let's move that to one side. What about something else? I don't see the timer. Bear with me for a second. Where's the timer? Right there. I've got it. Thank you. What about the ability to teleport to a different location? Wouldn't that be fantastic? No need for air travel. I am where I need to be at a click of a finger. I think that would be a good one. Let's keep that one. What about flying? Physically flying like Superman. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a ram flying through the sky. That would be good. I like that one. But I think overall, I like to do things really, really quickly. Yeah, so maybe the best power is actually being able to read a book really quickly. So that, I think that's the one I'm going to choose. I love reading books. Take, reading books takes such a long time, especially if there are a thousand pages in there. I'd like to read it really, really quickly. So I think the superpower I would like is being able to read a book really, really quickly so I can enjoy the learnings and apply those learnings as quickly as I can. Back to you, Table Topics Master. Thank you, Ram. Hi, yeah, it was a very good supernatural power. Hope you get it. And I think Hitansha, you raised your hand. So can you hear me and are you ready? Yes, yes. Yeah, your question is, if you are given to spend rupees one crore only on one particular transaction, on one thing, what will it be on? Uh, could you please either put it in the chat box? Yeah, yeah I put it in the chat box. Yeah. You can see. Spend one crore on on a single thing. What it be? Uh, what would it be? Uh, okay, I think I've always uh, you know wanted a pretty house ever since I was a kid. So th this one thing that I wanted was always a pretty house, and I think one crore is good enough money to get me a good uh, flat. I don't want like a huge one, but a pretty one definitely. So. Uh, I think I would go ahead and buy a pretty flat probably in Bangalore because I've been wanting to move there forever and now that I have a flat in Bangalore you know it'd be easy for me to move as well and convince my parents that I need to move there because I'd already invested that one crore rupees uh, I'd definitely buy a couch as pretty I mean I'd, I'd be inspired by your background Toastmaster Nitin and uh, set up a pretty interior like that in the house and uh, uh, definitely I'm I mean, I would. I I loved all all the fancy things of putting like um, the false ceilings and then putting LED lights in the ceilings and then I have. Uh, I have my Pinterest boards filled and filled with the kind of uh, interior I'd want. In fact, uh, I'm a pastry chef, so I'd always I've, I've been wanting to set up a new kitchen for quite some time now. So I think uh, in the house itself, I'd manage one room and turn it into a kitchen. And since I need a lot of equipments, you know, from large new ovens to fancy fridge. Uh, and a lot of other things so uh, one crore I am I think one crore would be less <laughs> but uh, that is so I mean that is so sweet of you to think that I you know I I get one crore rupees and I think this is one of my biggest uh, dreams not the biggest but one of the most prominent dreams that suddenly you know I'm able to realize uh, in the lockdown so yeah thank you for giving me an opportunity to visualize the new house Thank you, thank you so much, Tansha. And there is the last question of the day, and who would volunteer? So let's call upon. So grammarian Milan, yeah, can you hear me, sir? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yeah, if you are given a chance to meet someone right away, who will it be? 
<sighs> Anyone, even me, maybe dead or alive, who will it be? Right now, I would like to meet Mary Kong at this moment, because at this moment, she's hosting our India's flag in Tokyo Olympics. Because by meeting her, I'll be able to meet other Indian athletes also, who also bear carrying wind of five flag bearers for India. And that will help me to even meet everyone over there in the Olympic village, which I would not be able to make it. So that is an advantage if I meet a Mary Kong. And also, I'll ask a couple of questions to her. How she has been doing a lot of fitness at her age. And even after being a mother, how she's having that motivation to take care of her family as well as her passion. So that will be an inspiring story for me. And when I come back, I'll ensure, I'll repeat whatever she told us. So that will help me to take a couple of my projects on what the words of Mary Kong. So that is something which I would really love. Because that really helps me. Because whenever you meet someone who is an inspiring person, who has done great things in life, coming from a humble family, of a remote village in Manipur, how she came up and how she transformed herself. That itself can be extremely motivational, not only for me, but will also help me to share her story, to inspire our countrymen, our people, and the world at large. So that will be my only thing which would I like to do if I get that opportunity to meet someone. Meet Mary Kong. Devil topic master. Yeah, yeah, that that was very good. Uh, and even uh, recognizing the Tokyo Olympics, wishing them all the best from all our sides. Thank you, and over to you, Demo. What an excellent, entertaining, and enticing session conducted by Toastmaster Nitin. Give a big round of applause to Toastmaster Nitin. Now we have one prepared speech. May I call upon Toastmaster Joseph, who would be well, who would be evaluating Toastmaster. Toastmaster Joseph, can you please uh, explain guidelines, purpose and objective of the speech for the speaker? Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Good evening to Toastmasters and my dear guests. My target speaker, the purpose of this project is to present a speech on any topic, receive feedback and apply the feedback to a second speech. You may choose to present the same speech again or a new speech. Your second speech should reflect some, some or all the feedback from your first speech. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Joseph, for explaining objective of the speech. Toastmaster Hitasha, he has given her introduction while um, uh, delivering a table topic session but I would like to give her a small introduction. Toastmaster Hitasha is a pastry chef who loves to talk, wanting to move on, wanting to move to Bangalore forever. But the pandemic is not letting her. So currently she is feeling happy to meet everyone virtually. Our speaker would be presenting level one project two from motivational strategies. A speech title is Connect over doubt. Connect over doubt, Toastmaster Hitan Shah. Thank you, Toastmaster Shishma. Uh, so let me, uh, I'm sure we all recall the lockdown of 2020, right? I mean, after making Dalgona coffee, playing board games with my family, and video Excuse calling me. my friends. One, one moment, there is a lot of noise uh, coming from there. Can't hear you. Is lot of noise. noise. Okay, I'll try turning the fan off. Can you just give me a second?
Is it better now? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so should I start over? Okay, uh, so in the lockdown, after making Dalgona coffee, playing board games with my family and video calling my friends, I still had a lot of time at hand. And an idle mind is a devil's workshop, they say. So I ended up installing a dating application and swiping left and right on Hinge became my weekend plans. A very good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Please allow me to walk you through the story of how, how a hinge match became a really close friend of mine. So I remember while we started talking, we played a game of Scrabble and I lost by over a hundred points despite claiming to be good at it. Boy, was it embarrassing. But just like a therapist showing unconditional positive regard, he said, it's okay, Pragya. Uh, and about why he calls me Pragya is a story for another time. So he goes, it's okay, Pragya. Uh, we'll try another game. Maybe you'll do better this time. I was surprised despite the fact that I was pathetic at it. He was so nice to me and he's like, let's give it another chance. Impressive, right? But in my defense, I had misinterpreted the rules and I had been, I, I mean, I'd been taught Scrabble wrong all my life. But the next game onwards and upwards, I did end up doing better. But this, even though it was embarrassing, it was a wonderful icebreaker for us. Uh, he was also kind enough to help me with some of my college applications. He sent me uh, samples of his SOPs to help me draft mine. And I kid you not, his SOPs were very, very impressive. But at that time, I was crushing over somebody else. So I ended up kind of friend zoning him. Uh, but coming back to the story, Ayush was very supportive, had a kind, pampering nature and was very mature. Uh, so once while we're talking, I remember asking him, you know what Ayush, you sound like an elder brother I always wanted but never had. Can I please call you bhaiya? Uh, for, just for the record, I was 22 and he was 26. So pretty elder, you see. Uh, but then to this, he replied, and I quote, but madam, you do not find brothers on Hinge. Uh, and then suddenly, uh, and then he's like, but you're a cutie. And I'm like, okay, this is awkward. Now, what do I say? I said, mm, okay, you're sweet. And it suddenly occurred to me, sweetie is usually the name uh, of, a, of an old fat boa in Ekta Kapoor's uh, TV soaps. So I said, I wish since you're not interested in being my brother, can I at least, would you at least be sweetie boa for me? I've also always wanted a boa, so please. And he says, yeah, yeah, rather make me a multi-purpose relative, madam. As you might have figured out, our conversations were funny. We shared a lot of smiles and uh, we were comfortable around each other. We appreciated each other's vibe uh, and it was fun. So, uh, and this is the beginning of every relationship. What do you ask? Positivity. Positivity where you laugh, you smile and you are comfortable around each other and appreciate each other's vibe is where any relationship begins. Now, conversations with a lot of other people were very, very interesting for the first week. But then eventually, things, uh, but eventually we ran out of things to talk about and the contacts started fading away. There was no consistency. However, starting conversations with Ayush was easy. He loved kids, dogs and food. I was lucky to have all three elements around me. I constantly sent him pictures and videos of my younger brother, Haraj our dog Tabby and the food I cooked and baked. The, uh, we also made it a point to reply to each other's stories and exchange good morning messages. This, build, uh, this helped us build consistency. So much so, we've even developed a funny little ritual around it. So I usually wake up at wake, wake up late, late enough that he's already at work. And at 1 p.m. I'm like, hey, what's up? Good morning. And in an affectionate yet annoyed tone, he says, get lost, Pragya, you're useless. You will never learn to wake up on time. Uh, and uh, as I look back, I realize we've been doing this for over 365. We've, we've been doing this almost every day for over 365 days now. This helped us build consistency. Consistency, um, consistency makes the friendship feel easy. This is the reason why we end up developing our closest bonds in school, 
at work, and even here at Toastmasters, because high consistency builds trust and we feel safe. Over the foundation of positivity, so over the foundation of positivity, we incrementally built up the graph of consistency. But coming back to the story, a while ago, I was not feeling so good. And uh, he said, uh, Pragya, I've noticed you've become very distant and withdrawn lately. Is everything okay? He was right. I wasn't feeling so good. But I said, yeah, it's okay. I'll be, I'll be good in two days and then I'll talk to you. And then he goes, enough. But enough, bro. You've been telling me this for over a week now. What's going on? This is not fair. Uh, and then he says, uh, you know what? As much as I'd love to tell you to get lost in the happy days, I think I deserve to be around for the not so happy days. And trust me, I don't want to be there for everyone. It's just you because you've become important to me. And this is true. While a lot of our relationships have the two components of consistency, of positivity and consistency, a very few of them have the third yet the most imperative component of vulnerability. Vulnerability is where we confide in, where we reveal ourselves a little more than just the happy days. That day, a bratty voice in my head said, but are you crazy? How can you be so important to somebody you've not even met? Confiding in someone is no joke. But a little, but the other, wiser voice whispered, but you've built a connection and you know that. Connections don't happen without vulnerability. People, can, people, people wait to find and develop such connections uh, to have a safety net to fall back on, to look for people to confide in. So instead of choosing doubt, it's time you choose connection because vulnerability, no matter how scary, is always worth it with the right person. So go back to your safety net, jump it and be grateful that you have one. Thank you. Thank you, Hitansha. Give a big round of applause to Toastmaster Hitansha for letting us your personal story, which has many interesting elements. And through your story, you have given uh, the information of how consistency and the positive, positivity will help to strengthen the connection. Thank you, Hitansha. Now we move on to interesting, important segment, evaluation. To know what went well, where, which areas we need to improve. I now call upon our general evaluator for the day, Toastmaster Shubhadeep, to take over. Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Shushma. So coming to the evaluation section, we'll begin with evaluating the speeches first, and then I'll have my tag team present the report. So the first speech that we heard today, I'll go by that order. The first speech was by Toastmaster Vidu, and the evaluator was Toastmaster Veera. So I request Toastmaster Veera to come on stage and share your evaluation report. Thank you so much, General Evaluator Toastmaster Shubhdi. Wow, Space Wars and not Star Wars. What a fantastic title that could captivate the audience. And the speech had a very intriguing start right from the beginning. And I absolutely loved how that introduction was tied in with the actual content of the speech. The entire speech had confidence shining through and particularly the usage of hands, the gestures and the body movement that took up the speech one more notch above. The speech was very well structured chronologically with the story spinning yet and above. And it was very well researched to, to serving its own purpose of researching and presenting. And I really appreciate the fact that the speaker delivered the speech while standing up because that actually created a personal connect with the audience that the speech was being targeted to the audience and not at the audience. And coming to the points which I would have loved to see in the speech, first thing, this speech being a part of the pathway presentation mastery and the speech in itself has researching and presenting in the path. I would, love, I would have loved to see more vocal variety which could have added a bit more spice and jazzed up a little bit, like, 
the two nations locked horns or you could have added a bit more casual tone like and guess what they captured and held them captive and when stressing on words like even higher these could have added a bit more flavor to the actual speech which was in itself written very well uh, neatly and one more thing is again coming back to the point that this is a speech with talk targeting about presenting how well the speech has been researched it mildly felt like oh sorry okay uh, sorry sir i was thinking i had some connections it mildly felt like it was a bit of a recital because of the lack of vocal variety there so having this vocal variety throughout the speech from start to end would have taken it up another level and one more thing is i saw that the i noticed that the speaker was taken aback by surprise when seeing the timer card at last so uh, practicing the speech noting down the time a couple more times when practicing it that would have really helped out and one small suggestion as these kind of speeches like researching and presenting they tend to have a bit more dry content like people the audience might feel like there are a lot more information getting loaded up upon them so i would personally would have preferred having an actual presentation aid like a slide show or something that would have captured the audience's interest because again this this will tie back to the actual path which is presentation master so other than that was a very well crafted beautifully written speech which could have taken up uh, another level by adding vocal variety and a bit more flavors with the presentation so with that uh, let me give it back to our general evaluator and all the very best to master shubhdeep for your further speeches thank you so much thank you to master veera for that uh, crisp and effective feedback and evaluation you just like and i like like to add just one quick pointer to to the evaluation which is already done and i entirely echo with the thoughts since this was entirely based on a research which was very well done and i completely concur with what our evaluator has mentioned at times you know what happens is if you deliver something entirely flat that does not spark the audience so in if you in, inculcate some kind of vocal variety the voice of command that really adds a lot of flair to what you what you're delivering in your speeches wonderful so let's move ahead with the next evaluation by toastmaster streamu for the speaker toastmaster vinny am i audible thank you who is the most wonderful and important person in this universe that's you rising toast masters and brilliant guests a very good evening to everyone and today my target speaker vinit he reminded that message very excellently i will tell you why actually the target of this particular project is connect with audience with unfamiliar topic and my dear friends that is true this is so familiar and we it became unfamiliar to us we are giving importance for so many things and we are ignoring ourselves thank you so much vinay such a wonderful and insightful topic there are so many things your speech highlighted throughout uh, this conversation with audience first one is your opening you showed the medicine and asked with a question and throughout the bo uh, body some thoughtful messages and again so meticulously you connected your conclusion with opening again very well done and coming to second one you created the self hate mindset why it is so much important and you touched our souls and knocking by knocking and touching our purpose also what a thoughtful uh, thoughtful thought provoking messages and the important thing is you throughout the story you always target audience that, that's where 
you are connected with the audience that is very well done and i i liked and today you reminded few important things but what we can improve little more first thing is through the speech you look so serious somehow i'm not sure what is the reason uh, you are not uh, uh, you are not so much comfortable on the stage and second thing since such a wonderful topic if you could add your own story where something out of your control and you as a captain of your chariot and you uh, pull uh, all the arches in your hand and you control if you show that that will be more inspiring and third one one more session i want to share maybe need little more practice so that uh, uh, i can see you have so much caliber uh, I, i can make it out easily uh, it's very evident you can bring it up all your experiences in this speech like vocal varieties uh, or stage utilization what uh, whatever you experiences so far as a toast master if you bring it up and impact audience at the core it will be little more helpful to the audience that is what uh, my personal opinion all in all it was a great speech and you touched our purpose and our soul today and only thing i love to uh, recommend maybe add your own stories uh, how you control your life and you utilize all your experience you gained so far with that you can make this good speech to great speech over to you thank you so much to master shrinu thank thank you to master shrinu for that spot on feedback and evaluation i think i do not have anything more to add to what shrinu has already mentioned he has covered each and every aspect from the speech and definitely we look forward to more amazing speeches from you toast master vinny uh, coming to the next speech that we had from toast master hitasha and for that the evaluator was toast master joseph sir so joseph sir please go ahead and share your evaluation with us thank you subhadeep now my toast master hitansha you have a lovely voice in and your delivery of the structural speech is so much uh, what i would say appreciable but one thing you are very fast still i would like you to slow down a little bit uh, that would be my suggestion your speech is really great in explaining how you want to be a develop your friendship that is turned out to be a different opinion from the other your uh, your classmate or your friend or whoever it may be he was thinking in a different way he he mistook your way of our appreciation and love expecting in a different form and you wanted to change his mind but he is not able to do that you wanted to have a consistency in both of your thinking and all it is all like a shakespeare story of romeo and juliet was so to say however the delivery that you have given on this structural speech has to be a little bit slow is required otherwise your speech is very well constructed and well done also and also the compatibility of thoughts is more important that's what you feel that there is a fear trust that you have to develop there is a positivity you have to see from the other end and how every day you, you should be treating in a normal way whether it is happy days or unhappy days that was your intention and you expect the other man also to be the same way which is supposed to be unexpectedly not achieving this one and the, your uh, vulnerability as you talking that is uh, based on that you have to what you call the trust has to be built on that vulnerability itself because it is uh with that only you can have a faith in him otherwise you are losing him in such a way that you don't believe in it so this uh message of your uh 
positivity and uh, consistency is a good uh, message for for the purpose of friendship and love so my only suggestion would be uh, you are I'm sorry for that. Uh, over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank, thank you, Joseph, sir. Thank you for that uh, crisp evaluation. And I'd like to add uh, to what Toastmaster Joseph's evaluation. A very important thing which I noticed throughout your speech, Toastmaster Vitasha, is you are extremely expressive, and that is very much required if you want to win over a stage, if you want to win over the audience. That is already there. So you are already one of the better speakers, right? But just like our evaluator mentioned, the power of pause is extremely crucial. The moment you inculcate, the moment you implement the power of pause, trust me, your speech, through your speech rather, you're gonna do wonders. With that being said, I would like to call back my team of tag role players, starting with the timer, Toastmaster Freedom, to share the timer report. Uh, I request anyone to make me a co-host. I want to share my screen actually. Yeah. You make even the co-host. Okay. You may be. Yes, made. Is it visible? Yeah. Yeah. So the table topic sessions. Uh, wait a minute. Stop. Give me a minute. Yeah, so the table topic sessions. So Toastmaster Veera, uh, he took one minute, 24 seconds. Guest Viva took three minutes and I think uh, she overshoot the time. Uh, Toastmaster Rao took one minute, 30 seconds. And Toastmaster Hitansha took uh, two minutes, 10 seconds. Toastmaster Milind, he took uh, one minute, 49 seconds. This is my uh, report for table topic sessions. Moving on to the prepared speeches, Toastmaster Bridu uh, actually did time. That is, he took eight minutes, nine seconds. And the Toastmaster Vineet was in time. He took uh, six minutes, 10 seconds. Toastmaster Hitansha took seven minutes. So she is qualified. And regarding the evaluation sessions, Toastmaster Veera was in time and two to three minutes and Toastmaster Serino, as well as the Toastmaster Joseph, he was also in time, he took two to three minutes. So this is my brief elucidation of timer report. Back to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Freedom. The next role player is Toastmaster Deepa. Please uh, share your account report, Deepa. Yes, there have been a lot of excellent performances. I, I noticed that with a lot of attenuation in terms of ahs, ums, and crutch words. However, there were a few which I'd like to mention and I'll go according to how I've placed it in my sheet. So let me go to the uh, to Vandana. Vandana, you had three hours, which is a significant reduction in your hours actually. And then let me come to Veera. Veera, you have a repetitive word, wow. You use it a little too often. And so was used four times, usually at the beginning of sentences and during the evaluation and was predominantly used. I mean, it was just two times, not much. Vibha, Vibha had uh, a tendency to elongate her words. This is not actually an R counter report, perhaps. She tells it as like a, that a, or a. So I would advise her if she could stop it at that and not elongate it. 
and there were some repetitive words which she used i i there there many many and ours were two so's were three and uh, and and two times or uh, ram you had zero uh, i'll tell you who all had zero counts ram milin joseph um nitin sush sushma just had two times ours so i mean uh, vinith zero time so all of these are uh, stellar performances in our club meeting today a big round of applause to you hitansha you have your favorite crutch words are i think you kind of use i think a lot so and i mean like you know were interspersed but very few times it wasn't so repetitive that it was losing the sheen the speech was losing the sheen and shrinu you uh, you tend to use actually during the beginning of your sentences and particular is also something you attach to words and twice are twice that's it from me uh, this is my our counter report over to the general evaluator thank you those for deepa the next uh, role player was the grammarians so i request host master milind to share his report. It was a pleasure cherry picking fantastic phrases words today starting with stitching the event together beautiful curated youtube then spike your blood pressure increase the efficacy spice up your life spice up your life and alterations the event was entertaining enticing the analogies as our counter highway puddles and potholes compatibility of thought unconditional positivity comfortable around each other ran out of things nice phrase most imperative component go back to your safety net fantastic phrase other nice use of usage of words intertwined audacious those events kept for better day experiential games pathetic self hate mindset depressed in my friend fragile prone to temptation so all our fantastic phrases which i and i also enjoyed the last phrase which was used you are one of the better speaker power of pause and as far as the word of the day has been used by shubhadeep nitin and bidu as well as deepa atinuet so that was kudos to each one of you areas for improvement personally i was trying to nitpick but i really did not find out only in some one case which i noted when you say in the past as ed you don't have to stress the last word the so just be aware of that otherwise it was fantastic we done so with this over to the general evaluator those master shubhadeep thank you milin sir and finally the last role player that we have for today is the listener those master akash thank you ji um, so for today um, i would like uh, ask questions uh, so vandana's morning routine included taking a ta tablet what was the tablet vitamin d yes who is mr chandler Master Adarsh. Yeah, that's correct. What is the healthiest spice on planet, as per Sushma? Turmeric. No. Cinnamon. 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 That's right. Uh, which uh, spices used for weight reduction, as per Sushma? Pepper. 
Pepper and turmeric. Coriander. Pepper and coriander. Cumin tea. Cumin tea. That is uh, for tawak fat. Baby fat. Right. Um, so, uh, what was the weight of Chinese satellite which uh, uh, it was around 160 190 kg. 190. 190. Yeah, that's right. 190 kg. So, what is the uh, corresponding weight of Indian satellite? 350. 350. Yeah, that's 350, I guess. Right, uh, Bidu? 350. Okay. Uh, which Russian flight did uh, Rage Sharma travel? Was it Salute 7? No. It's Salute 7. Right. Hey, uh, Bidu, you are not allowed to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the good friend of Vineet in his speech? Vineet. Benny, Benny. Yeah, right. Um, how much amount did Hitansha get in her table topic speech? One crore. One crore, right? Yeah. Um, what is the dating app which Hitansha used? Hinge. Hinge. Right. Um, three things that Ayush liked in Hitansha's speech. Anyone? I think dogs was one. Yeah, right. Dogs, food, mm -hmm. children. I think food. Food and children, food. I think. Yes. Food and children. Yes, right, right. Yeah, that's it for today from me. Thank you. Over to you. Yeah. Thank you, listener, Toastmaster Akash, for the quick set of questions. Now, coming to the end of the G session, we had all the reports. A couple of items that I want to share about this meeting today, it was started on time, which was perfect. We started actually a little bit before five o'clock. The overall all meeting was structured extremely well. We, um, there was a plot for, and massive set of a plot for the VPA for the crisp agenda. It was detailed, everything was added in there. The team mod was extremely delightful and she explained us through the examples of our personal life on spices and how you know we can use those things. And finally, a very fun and interesting set of table topics by Toastmaster Nitin. And I was extremely delighted to see the participation, not only from members, but also from the guests. Finally, one quick recommendation will be about the timing. The meeting is supposed to be between 5 and 6.30, but we are already above five, or above 6.30. We are at 6.45 currently. So that is something we might take into account in the meetings moving forward. With that being said, I would like to conclude with a small saying that let's keep it simple, since simplicity is the keynote of all true elegance. With that being said, over to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, General Evaluator and your team for the valuable evaluation. Now I'd like to turn over this meeting to our president, President Toastmaster Deepa. Uh, thank you, Sushma, uh, presiding officer, to Pres be precise. <laughs> thank you. So now um, the voting link has been shared in our chat box. So please come uh, and open the link and please cast your vote for your best table topic speaker, role taker, and whoever you found was the best for today. And with that said, um, I, I must say this was a very enlightening session. We had subjects from all the way from self-love to space programs, to doctors in the kitchen, nutrition, and to a dating app and, and, uh, and the consistency and I forget exactly what happened in that speech, but because I was doing something else, but it was a varied set of topics that we covered. And I'm sure you all enjoyed the variety that was brought in. And that's the beauty of bringing guests over from different other clubs. And I hope you're all casting your vote. One and a half, the voting 
statistics looking like how many of them have already casted their votes i uh, just a minute you have to give me a minute while i am casting my vote no i am not able to vote myself uh, so you have to arrange for uh, allowing me to vote in the phone that i am always missing uh you can actually take it from the chat option on your phone and vote chat option is not there I I can pass the voting link to your phone, sir. Right now, I will pass it to you over your phone. You can. Yes, I share. I share it on his WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Shreeni. Open. So let me just tell you what some of the announcements that we have for this week. One announcement is that we just completed TLI. We finished our table topics Olympics, and now we have going to have an executive committee meet. on wednesday which will be the first meeting and we're going to be planning the club success plan so please be ready with your creative ideas as part of the executive committee what do you think this club needs to move forward and uh, please take in inputs from our members as to what they want to see as well so members please feel free to reach out to all of the uh, council members at the club and tell them exactly what do you want to see in our meetings what exactly do you want to achieve as a member in the next in the coming 5 5 and a half months so vandana how are we looking with the numbers um uh, yeah it's just really slow so this just um requesting everyone who hasn't voted to put in your votes so we've gotten 12 uh, and we have 16 so there are few four people so probably at least three of you who may still want to go ahead and vote if you haven't yet but otherwise uh, so guests are also welcome to vote thank you once enough for that update i just cast my vote so i think the numbers must be looking a little better now so i'll just take a feedback from one of our guest um may i request ram are you there with us would you like to share your feedback on how the meeting went today so <clears throat> really good meeting it's good to see three good speeches in a meeting we only have one normally or two when it's a really good meeting but uh, yeah i really enjoyed it good variety good mix of different types of speeches technical non technical emotional the energy was really good and it's good to see other clubs and how they're progressing and also to borrow some ideas as well so that's what i really like about coming to other parts of the world you never know what speech you're going to listen to you never know where the ideas will come for your own next speech So that's what I really love about uh, visiting other clubs. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Ram. You you said it right. I mean, the interactions that we have bring in opportunities for more collaborations, more ideas. Uh, in fact, debates. I visited a debate speciality club in London to get more ideas for the club. So I think we're always open to sharing ideas. Now, may I request our next guest, Bibha, if you could share her feedback on how the meeting went. thank you mrs miss president yeah it was a really uh, wonderful meeting uh, as i as i can say that i missed the speaking part so uh, i would like to listen if uh, i can get the video link secondly i joined uh, i joined you during the table topic session it was and it was really a it was really a great session and all the topics were so easy to uh, get uh, to reach out uh, there and uh, yeah you all are uh, it seemed like uh, you all are veteran veteran toastmaster so i would love to come again and uh, see your join your meeting thank you thank you weba we hope to see you again ram as well to see you again and vandana just said that the results are ready vandana 
could you announce who yes. our winners are for today? Yes, we have 15. I think most of you have voted. So that's, it is definitely the final verdict. So for best supporting role, we have our joke master for today, Toastmaster Adarsh. For best role player, we have a majority and that's Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Sushma. Best speaker goes to Again, a good number of votes, Toastmaster Hitansha. Best auxiliary role player goes to, again, uh, even though a lot of people did vote for others, the majority definitely goes for Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmaster, our grammarian for today, Milan. Best table topic speaker, Toastmaster Ram, thank you for joining us today. Um, our best evaluator, again, a really good uh, majority, Toastmaster Veera. And uh, we have a good rating of, uh, you know, 60% saying our meeting is rated at four and 40% saying at five. So definitely we've gotten some good responses. Over to you. Thank you, Vandana. Congratulations to all the winners and participants. Keep that fire alive in you and keep giving your best every session. And these small wins are what builds confidence in us. So until next time, see you goodbye and wish, you, wish to meet you again next week, Friday, same time, 5 to 6.30 for an, another exciting session with a different theme and lovely guests and Toastmasters. See you and bye-bye.